minutes into the game, keeping the high riding, more pleasant, honest. Green. Does well, Green. Sigri. Player with a lot of confidence, Sigri. Here comes Green with a strike on goal. What a goal! Daniel Green strikes his third goal of the season. And Mount Pleasant, as you would expect, taking the advantage here on Mobay. That's a beautiful goal there. Shaped well, just curled it to the top corner of the goal. Exquisitely done. And the build up, they just look as if they weren't going anywhere, as if it was that the attack didn't seem to have the point it needed. But certainly, once it fell to, to Green, once he turned and faced up to goal, execution perfect. That's a tremendous strike from the 24 year old. And he is Mount Pleasant's leading scorer. Hasn't really flourished in a big way since getting on the Mount Pleasant books. But he looks to be setting himself up for a big season this year. Cave, haven't they? Can they provide another comeback? King. King can go himself. Oh! King! Crown him King! That is amazing! Where did that come from? This is an absolutely insane match! Richard King! Oh, he will never hit a better one than that in his entire life! What a game, Chris Taylor! What a game! Well, seven goals on the night, and outstanding goals continue to be scored. Richard King almost looked awkward when he was dribbling forward, and who knew he would have produced a strike like that? It looked like a natural dribbler, Richard King. But Damien Hyatt, no chance. Wow, third of the season for Richard King. And there's something about that area of the pitch. We've seen so many goals there. First, there was Nicholas Hamilton from that side. Then there was Atafori Bygrave. Now Richard King. Third goal on the season for King. Goes to the back post, Trayvon Reed, trying to control. Under pressure, he didn't. Lawrence. Lawrence with a shot! Oh, that's a beautiful goal from Pilon Lawrence! Oh, my! He must have heard Chris Taylor talk about his goal scoring prowess as a schoolboy and how he hasn't quite cracked the code at this senior level and said, Chris, what are you saying? I'm going to give you two reasons to change that narrative. That's what he can do. Talented right foot, Phil and Lawrence. And that was a top finish by him into the far corner. One we see often at the overseas level. Yeah, lovely cut in there. Look at this. That's a top finish. No chance for goalkeeper Burton. Not sure Trevon Reed got a touch onto it. Good movement here. Backing off the Mobile defence, almost like they didn't think Lawrence could execute from that region. Doubling his tally for the season. Yep. Just like that, the young man, two on the running. And it's 3-0. Oh, nicely done, <laughs> Nicole Christian. Goes long to wonderful ball to Atafoy by Grave. Has King on him. Phillips inside to by Grave. By Grave! Oh, that's magical! Oh, that's sensational! Pick that one out! Pick that one out! It's an absolute blinder! And done for holders, new number seven gets his ninth. And they stretch their lead on aggregate. His 12th goal this season. And wow, what a hit! It's a dozen for a tough Roy by a grave, and this might be the best of them. Look at this for a strike. Well, we've seen some stunning strikes in this playoff period. 
and none better than that one by a tap or a by Grieve. Good ball into the box and turn just to give himself some space, carried out of the 18-yard area. And the pace of it, Vino Barclay, no chance. Wow! Looked like it shaved off the inside of the upright as it went in as well. And he's now one goal behind Daniel Green for the goal in boot race. Harold Thomas, proud of the strike. <laughs> to get back in this game, that's a question. Good point. Nelson has lost it. And it's picked up and fired! Oh, oh, that's majestic! That is a stunning strike! Shaheem Harris! Well, that's the second introduction to the Premier League. It's his second goal, but what a hit from the youngster! And with that, Malign United, you're back in it! So what did you say about the quality? Well, there it is. Jaheem Harris heard you on the pitch. Do they have the quality? Yes, they do. We've seen this in the schoolboy season for Edwin Allen from him, Jaheem Harris. Missed kick to free kick earlier, but he is certainly a wonderful technician with the instep, Jaheem Harris. And there is an example of it. No chance whatsoever for Jaheem Williams. And just like that, Malayan. Wonderful stuff. Atkinson on it now for Cavalier. Can they pull a goal back in this tie? Atkinson! Oh, that's majestic! Dwayne Atkinson with a peach of a strike. A strike for the champions in this tie. They've pulled the goal back on aggregate. A wonder of a hit from Cavaliers number 10. Great strike, Dwayne Atkinson. Demario Phillips selling himself into a tackle further up the pitch. It opened up that vacancy on his flank. And what about that for a finish? We spoke about Dwayne Atkinson enjoying open play where he can run at the defenders. And how he likes to cut in onto that right foot. Well, he couldn't have done that any better. That is a Dwayne Atkinson goal, if there ever was one. He's been doing that since high school with Kingston College. Dwayne Busy Atkinson is dangerous from 18 yards out. There's Harvey now with possession for Mark Pleasant. Price. Still Price. Harvey with a strong oh, what a goal! Alwyn Harvey, his first Premier League goal. I've been waiting for it for months. And this young player, who we think has a lot of quality, finally gets on the score sheet and puts Mount Pleasant in front by one goal to nil in three minutes. <laughs> well, Lance, <laughs> you've got your wish. And yeah, we didn't think it was going to happen this season. Harvey usually played in a very deep position. Excellent finish. Cleon Price working his way forward. And what about that for a strike from Alwyn Harvey? Probably as advanced as you will ever see him, Harvey. Excellent strike into the near corner, unsavable score. And yeah, not the start, Eric Ed Rob Eric. Rob Edwards would have been hoping for. Yeah, Price with the assist there. And Harvey have been so impressed with his shooting ability and his, his skill on the ball. Nicholas Nelson has a score tonight, as he usually does, but he has to be in the conversation for a man of the match honor, doesn't he? With two assists. I think so. I think he's been he's been he's actually been pretty good. Yeah. He's created quite a few opportunities, even for himself. Our point! Oh, what a goal! What a tremendous strike! I can't believe it! Two minutes into stoppage time, and on and Gardens are back in business! The bearded one! Excites the Arnold Gardens fans! Kimani Orboyne! Ha-ha! Well, maybe there is your man of the match, lads. What a strike by Kimani Orboyne. 25 yards out. Usually scores his goals in the box. But that was a blinder from Kimani Orboyne. Six on the season for him to go with his assist as well. And look at this. Good defensive work by Malines. But they couldn't bank on this for a strike from Kimani Ayrbon. That was quality. One of the best this season, if not the best. Pure strike into the far corner. And a six-goal thriller here. 
Shepard keeps it alive for Harborview. Hamilton, lovely take from Hamilton. Goes for the shot! Oh my word! Nicholas Hamilton, eat your heart out! He removes his shirt and celebrates with the gallery! That's the goal of a lifetime! Nicholas Hamilton will never score a better one for as long as he draws breath! Harborview in front and deservedly so! Certainly deservedly so, coming off the bench, making the coaches look like genius. But George, you spoke about it, that you've been trying to spectacular all game long. And you did call it that maybe, maybe just one of them will, call, will fall into it. But I didn't hear you say lucky in your pronouncement and description of that one. You said spectacular because that's what it was. Really spectacular strike. Yep. Like the Skilly Bank song, Nicholas Hamilton lines it up. And Waterhouse get the footballing equivalent of wap, wap, wap. Yeah, that's certainly a goal at any level that will be seen as a spectacular eye quality goal just cutting in inside and to that far corner i see foster all he got all of was tin ear magic magic from nicholas hamilton an alchemist at work that was artistic and no bombing no anointing could help kamara foster to keep that one out here he is with this clearance. Well, with this spot kick, beg your pardon. Stewart takes it down nice, takes it down for Wilson. Wilson stretching all the time, but gets it to Nelson, who goes early! What a goal from Nicholas Nelson! Polite United should have been the better team, but have failed to find the goal, and their talisman digs deep into his bag of tricks. He shook his hand around in the bottom of the bag and pulled something out. And what do you know? It's a goal. I tell you, he was their, 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 their greatest goal threat. Certainly their best finisher. And I was saying that should be closer to goal when he shows me he can place it from deep. And early, he had the awareness to go for that one. Goalkeeper now slightly off his line. And really, really spectacular strike there. I talk about Cephas' goal being the goal of the season. That one is rivaling it for sure. Beautiful execution there from Nelson. And that one can be watched over and over and over again. My, 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 my. I was about to say to you, uh, Dwight, that Garnet Lawrence, the Molines coach, will be very disappointed because his team 